This is my 2009 KTM Super Enduro. And um, I just re-jetted my carburetors and I made the mistake of removing the throttle position sensor, which I didn't have to do, but I did and it threw it out of adjustment. So now I have to adjust it. The manual tells you how to do it, but I came across a tool online. It's called uh, tpstool.com. And basically, um, they make three models, and this cable is, a, is an aid to help you do it, and it makes it a lot easier. TPSTool.com has three different styles depending on your motorcycle's connector. This is model two. This type of connector is model two, and is a type for the 950 Super Enduro, and I believe the Adventure and Supermoto are the same. Uh, if not, you need to match the connector type to one of the three on the website and this one here again is model number two okay so <clears throat> the way you do that is you go ahead and fish out following your throttle position sensor on the right side of your carburetor front carburetor follow that wire <clears throat> and it happens to be located in the front of the ECM and right underneath the antifreeze expansion chamber. So you go ahead and gently pull that wire out to get to the connector. Once you have the connector, I've already cheated a little bit and I've loosened the connector because I struggled with it a little bit earlier, but I find getting a small screwdriver, very small one, you stick right in this little slot here by pushing this little tab down. Again, mine's going to be a little easier because I've already loosened it and you push down and kind of out and that loosens it with a little wiggle comes out now probably might take you a little bit more time than it did me there because I did have it loose then you take the tool and you go ahead and plug it in it's only one way it goes in okay and now basically you the system thinks they're together then what you do is you take your multimeter um, tool and you take and stick the prongs in the correct ones and it's real simple red goes to red and black to black now note on the other end of your connector they're not red um, the what you're what you're doing the manual says that you're measuring the voltage between the black wire and the yellow wire well the yellow wire is in line with the TPS tools red wire and of course black to black there is a green one on the TPS tool in alignment with a blue wire um, we don't use that so it doesn't matter again you're only interested in the red and the black for your multi meter tool and they are connected in line with the yellow and black and you're measuring the voltage between those two so you do have to have power so you go ahead and turn your bike on real important here be sure that your kill switch is on the on position okay because it won't work properly go ahead and turn on your multimeter and the service manual is saying that in the neutral position with the engine off because you can't do it with it on it has to be off you want to get a reading of 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 you can see I'm low right now it's reading 0 0.45 so it does need some adjustment the book says that you should have an even fluid gain on your multimeter as you give your throttle a twist to wide open throttle it should be an even gain and when you're at wide open throttle you're looking for a 3.6 to 3.7 range and you can see I'm low here I'm reading at 3.56 I'm pretty close but um, I'm a little bit below I should be at least 3.6 to 3.7 so I'm gonna make an adjustment and uh, try to get these numbers up so I'm gonna shut the camera off and reposition it and point it to the throttle position sensor 
one more note before we make the adjustment. This is the actual connector that is uh, going to the TPS from my um, wire harness. This is the back of the connector. As you can see, the yellow wire and the black wire, and we're measuring the voltage between the two of them. The KTM service manual tells you that you should take your multimeter tool and the probe uh, and you shove it into the back of the connector here. Carefully, it cautions you not to damage the internal connector, not to damage the wire itself, but especially not to damage the waterproof weather seal on the back here. So you can see my probe is pretty thick. And I already tried doing this before I came across the TPS tool. And um, I just didn't want to do that to this connector. And um, I realized it successfully has been done by hundreds, if not thousands, of guys. But uh, this is an option for, for you. And I think it's a lot easier to just take the TPS tool, find your red cable here in this case, and simply just Take your probe and put it into the connector. You're done. So let's go ahead and adjust it. Okay, um, you're looking at the front carburetor here, the front right side carburetor. This right here, this black thing, is your throttle position sensor. And that's the set screw that you loosen to make the adjustment. And it's a T25, a Torx. Go ahead and loosen that a little. And you can see that we still have uh, 0.45 at neutral. And uh, we want to bring it up to at least 0 0.5. Now, turning this to the left towards the rear of the bike or counterclockwise, it should increase voltage. And you can see it just jumped up by a little, a very sensitive, very little touch is all you need. So this is in spec right here. Right, right there. We're at 0 0.55. Now let's give the throttle, go to wide open throttle. You can see how it graduates equally. And we want to be between 3.6 and 3.7, and we nailed it right in the middle. So it's that simple, okay? 0 0.55 is right in the middle of 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. So this is dead nuts perfect. And, and we're right in between the 3.6 and 3.7 here. So simple as tightening up that screw. And sometimes you'll get a little uh, deviation by tightening it. Be careful not to over tighten it because it is plastic. Went up just a hair. That's all I'm going to do. So I'm at 0 .55, 0 0.559 wide open I'm at 3.65 right dead nuts in the middle so that's all it takes to adjust your TPS on your KTM 950 take a look at tpstool.com it's really inexpensive and I think you uh, would like it thanks